gonna go ahead and use my first bowl right now. So I'm gonna turn on the scale to get it going. It says zero. I'm gonna put the bowl on it and you'll see the weight changes. You do need to have this at a zero. So I just turned it to zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 150 grams of my starch. So I'm going to scoop it in and I'm going to wait till it's 150. There's some more, it's only 84 grams. So we're going to go grab some more. That's definitely going to be over. So I'm going to take some out. I start with the start first, just for that reason of having to take it out in case it actually puts too much. Okay, so 150, it's 146. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more in there. Okay, so it's exactly 150 in that bowl. I always wash my hands so I don't like the stickiness of the dough on my finger. Okay, now after I put 150 grams into the bowl, I'm now going to put 285 grams of water and then seven grams of salt. So I start with my water, hit reset so it's zero. And then we pour water. Two hundred and eighty five grams. My son is the video recorder, so my apologies. Two hundred and eighty five. It's a little bit over, but that's okay. I'll just put a little scoop of water or uh, flour. So now I mix it. So I like to have, make sure that the dough, the start, is really mixed well in the water. So the fermentation really, really gets good in the flour when I mix it. So now again, it's all shaken. So now I'm gonna take my salt. I take my salt, and I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add seven grams. So let's go ahead and do our seven grams of salt. So we're gonna just watch this. I usually know it's about three pinches, but. Almost there. There we go. So seven grams of salt. And then I mix it again. Of course, I just reset it to zero. So I want to make sure it's all mixed before I put the flour. So, so we set to zero. In this one, I'm going to use white flour instead of wheat flour. Um, you just change the flour when you make it. Your start is always white flour, but you just change it uh, depending on the flour that you're going to use. I have my son hold the camera. And it's 500 grams. It's about 500 grams. Okay, so that is it. And we just mix, mix, mix. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, my son is going to go hold that camera so you can see me mix this bowl. I like to scrape the flour on the side and just do it in this rotational manner. And you'll see it clumping up together. Now it's when you mix it, I always take this all off and remix it again. But when you mix it, it's not gonna, the first mix is not gonna automatically make it into a loaf. 
it's going to you have to be able to stretch it, stretch it and get it into a ball. So right now we're just mixing the flour and pushing and mixing over and over and over again. So this is pretty much it for right now. And then in, I'll put a towel over it. And then in 30 minutes, I will come and stretch it.